Hey, it's Alicia. In this video, we are going to create a Instagram, Instagram tips. I'm going to create them for my Instagram page, but I'm going to create them in bulk. And what I want to also do is have multiple backgrounds. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to do is pick an Instagram template that I like, and I like this one a lot. It is the model photo quote of the day Instagram post. You can search for it on Canva or get the template link from me. And then, so now I'm going to click customize this template. So when I have this template here, the first thing I'm going to do is change the word quote to tip. And then I'm going to delete these big quotes right here. Don't need them. I'm going to delete this line. Don't need it where it says really great site. I'm going to change that to Alicia little, my handle. And then I, this font is hard for me to read. So I'm just going to change the font. Let's see. It's going to recommend a font. <laughs> Let's just pick one. And then I'm going to change the font size just to make it a little bit smaller, just in case any of my quotes are really big. But you can see they have this one I like too. They have a lot of different font types. So you can pick your font type and just make it a little bit smaller. So I'm happy with that. And now what I want to do is I want to actually duplicate this page. And I want to move this section over to the right, just so that I have some variety in this template here. So I'm going to group all of this together. And okay, that worked. So, I, so it's just so that I have one that's on this side and one that's on that side, just gives us some variety. And then I'm going to want five images. So I'm going to duplicate this one twice. And then this one, I'm going to duplicate once. All right. So let me move this one up to be in the middle. So it goes this one, this way. If I move this one down. So now if I just zoom out a little, we can see the style. So left, left, left. <laughs> and I'm happy with that. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the backgrounds, delete, delete that picture. And I'm going to find five different backgrounds of myself to put in here. So I'm going to go to my uploads where I have uploaded pictures of myself and paying attention to where the banner is. I want to put a picture of myself that is, you know, where my face is really on the opposite side of that banner. So this is a good example. This one would go here. All I have to do is click, click on the image and then set image as background and it goes behind it. Now I'm going to double click on that image and really pull it over as much as I can to the right. And I can see that's better. All right. Now I'm going to find the next image and put it in here. Right click doing this fast set image as background. That one's perfect for me going to go to the next one. Where's the next one here? Right click, set images, background. I'm going to double click and pull it over just a little bit more. Perfect. All right. Where's the next one? We'll put that one right here. <laughs> set images, background. That one is perfect. Moved over just a little bit and I need one more. Which one have I not used? We'll put this one here. Set images, background. And that one is perfect too. So that quickly, I have five different images. All right. So now the next step is I need different quotes on each of these images here. All right. Lots of different backgrounds. So now if I'm posting it once a week or twice a week, this is page one or this one right here is posted. Then this one, the next week, then this one, the next week, then this one, the next week. And then yes, it does come back to this one, but it's been a long time. Nobody's going to remember that. So I have enough images that it variety in the backgrounds. All right. And if you have a brand image or something, you could do something similar, five different brand backgrounds or whatever you want. So the next step I'm going to go now is I'm going to go to apps right here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to apps on the left-hand side of that, that panel right there. I'm clicking on apps. And then in search Canva apps, I'm going to type in bulk create. What am I typing in? Bulk create. Then I push enter. And then you see this app right at the top. Look at right at the top left. It says bulk create. I'm clicking on that. And then it's asking me about my data. So I can enter it manually, upload a CV or more data so sources. So if I entered it manually, I would have five 
two, three, four. I would have five sources here. And this would be tip one. Let me just delete where it says name, just so you don't get confused. So this would be tip one here. Email, this would be where tip two goes. This word would be tip three, tip four, and tip five. And then you would put, I should have cleared the data first, but now I'm in it. <laughs> and then you would put the tips here going down and it, you would use it this way, which I've shown how to use it this way before. So this is manually putting it in, which is fantastic. You can definitely do that. Or you can upload a CSV, which is what we're gonna do in this case. So when I upload a CSV, this CSV document, let me open it really quick. All right, so this CSV document, so this is a Google Doc. You could have a spreadsheet or a Google Doc. I work in Google Docs. And this Google Doc just has different quotes in it. I need to delete this one here because it's gonna cause problems. But you can see every, there's a, this is column one, two, three, four, five, and they all have just different AI quotes. So D and E are the same AI quotes. I'm just using this as an example. So these will be duplicates, but that is okay. I'm just using this as an example. So now what I do is I go file and then I'm gonna, let me just change this file name to three. It's called Ashley because I was showing her how to do it. <laughs> so we go three. So I'm gonna put download as a CSV. It has to be a CSV file. Say that out loud, CSV, all right? It has to be a CSV file. So you download it as a CSV file. And then you're gonna go back to Canva, which Canva was I working in? Oh my God, I have so many open. All right, so it's this Canva here. So remember we're in Bulk Create, so we went to Apps, <laughs> then we search for Bulk Create, and now we're clicking Upload CSV, and we're uploading that CSV. No, I didn't get that, wasn't the right one. Let's go back, Upload CSV, it was this one. And now you can see that it's got one, two, three, four, five. So it's got those five sections right there. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted to see. So what we basically did was we uploaded this sheet. So we downloaded this sheet as a CSV and then we uploaded it and then Canva recognized, if I can find it, Canva recognized each column and is just showing you that it recognizes each column. Now we've got to match it up so that it goes on the image so that column one is always gonna go with this image. So everything that is in this column one or column A will always show up on this image of me in the black and white top. Everything that's in column B or column two, as it's also called, will always be with me on my phone. Everything in column three will always be with me in the shirt. So in order to get Canva bulk create to create multiple backgrounds all at once with bulk create, you're uploading a CSV with multiple rows and each row represents an image. So we're lining up image A1 basically with image <laughs> one. So it's like row one, which is that first row is matched up with image one. Row two is matched up with image two. And that is the only way that I have found that we can create multiple backgrounds and multiple images in a bulk manner. Okay. So now I'm going to go right here to this first image and I'm going to say connect data and I'm connecting it to column one. So I'm saying every this image is connected with column one. It's gonna, there's how many in column one? Six, <laughs> five really, because of that's number one. So it's gonna say, recreate this, create it five times. It's a bulk create process, all right? So then this one here, I'm gonna do this, right click, connect data, connect it to column two. I'm gonna connect on this one, connect data, connect it to column three. This one here, connect data, connect it to column four. This one here, connect data, connect it to column five, right? So we've got that. So everything is all connected. Boom, I love it, everything is all connected. So now what I've gotta do is press continue. So I'm coming back over here, you see where I am? On this bottom right here and I'm pressing the purple continue button. 
Yay. And then now it's saying apply the data. So it's just reminding me, here's what you want to apply. Here's what you want to apply. Let's see. I just want to look at one thing that I was a little bit surprised of, but we'll see. I did some, did I do something wrong? Let's try it. Okay. So it's going to generate these pages. And look what happened. Unbelievable. So background number one, AI is not just a tool. It's a team member that amplifies the brilliance of human creativity. And then the next one, AI in a team is like a wind at our backs, always pushing us towards new achievements. <gasps> the next one, <laughs> so far we've had two different backgrounds, different quotes. Background number three, AI is more than a tool. It's a teammate with a voice, a vision, and a valuable role to play. The next one, AI isn't the secret weapon of a team. It's the open book waiting to be read, understood, and utilized. And then remember, we said the last two images have the same quote. And then what happens? We've got that image again, the first image again. So now we've got 25 images. It just generated 25 because we had five rows of five. Five times five is 25. Yay. So if we had uploaded a hundred tips, we would have had a hundred image generate, a hundred images generated. Isn't that cool? So that's how you can in bulk generate multiple backgrounds. If I wanted 10 backgrounds, I could have done 10 backgrounds and 10 columns. But the key is that you have to have different columns or you're assigning the column per the image. So if you want different columns, different images. Some of the other cool stuff, now that we're here, if you decide, oh, I want the color of this, change. You can click on this, click on text color. Say you want that color now to be black. You can click black and then you can click change all right at the bottom. Look at the very bottom that's purple that says change all. You can click change all and it will change it all across all of the images. So not just this one, but across all of the images. So it changed it here on this one. But if you wanted it to change all, you click that change all button, which is really cool. Once it's here, you can make the sizes bigger if you want. Now that I know that it fits in there, I can make it bigger. I can also click on effects and inside of effects, there's different effects like shadows. That does not look good. <laughs> I like lift sometimes. You can see lift and shadows and the neon effect <laughs> and the glitch effect. You can put a background on it if you wanted. And of course, I would change the color of the background if I was going to do something like that. But you can see that there are just different effects that you can play with to see what gives you the biggest or the best impact with what you're trying to do. So just wanted to show you that. Or you can have no effects. Sometimes no effects are better than any effects at all. So you just pick none right there. Go back to white. So just wanted to show you that and the different things that you could do with it. But that's really it to Canva bulk create with multiple backgrounds. I hope that you enjoyed this training video and try it out. Bye.